back to my channel. My name is Emily and today I wanted to talk a little bit about how I plan to work around my brand new baby that's due in November. The reason that I wanted to make this video um, is because I honestly knew pretty much nothing about maternity leave and how it works and um, all that stuff and the things that I thought that I knew about maternity leave were pretty much all wrong. Um, so what I thought maternity leave was before I got pregnant was its own separate thing of like a minimum of a six week period where you were going to get paid maybe not like a hundred percent but you were going to get paid some um, to be off for six weeks with your baby. And then on top of that, I feel like I have seen just a lot of people in my life um, taking off more than six weeks. A lot of people taking off 12 weeks, so I was kind of thinking that maybe we are kind of progressing towards like a 12 week paid off period. Um, oh, I was so naive and so wrong. So what maternity leave actually is, or at least in my case, um, I know every company is different, but I think that my experience is pretty typical of like the American experience. Um, but what I have learned in the past few months of making like a million different phone calls to a million different people, each person having like one piece of the information that I need to know which is honestly so annoying. Anyways, what I've learned from these super annoying phone calls is that maternity leave is not its own separate entity. It's technically as part of um, short-term disability. And the way short-term disability works is my doctor prescribes the time off that then my disability, like I guess insurance, will cover. And my doctor does not prescribe 12 weeks. My doctor prescribes six weeks. Which I like I really honestly thought that I was gonna get more than that. And I don't I don't know necessarily why I thought that. Um, I'm assuming a lot of the people that I see uh, take 12 weeks aren't getting paid for a lot of those weeks. So anyways, my doctor does prescribe six weeks. And this is not six weeks of pay. When you start short-term disability, or at least in my case, you start with a two-week elimination period. And what that means is you have to be like disabled for two weeks before you start getting paid for it. Um, and turns out that maternity leave is actually only four weeks of paid like time off. And my, mine pays at 60%. I think that that's pretty typical too. Um, so yeah, it's not 12 weeks of pay. It is four weeks of 60%, which yeah, it, that's better than nothing, but it's not what I expected it to be. Um, and I'm just gonna hop on a soapbox for a minute and talk about why that sucks so bad. So America is the only developed country, the only one, that does not require any paid time off for maternity leave. Um, what To get the paid time off, you have to have some kind of coverage through your company, um, mine being like the short-term disability coverage, which you typically pay for like each month out of your paycheck to have that coverage. Uh, what America does have is FMLA, which is a 12-week period where you can be off of work for stuff like maternity leave, but uh, FMLA does not require companies to pay whatsoever. Um, it just requires companies to hold your position while you're off. And not all companies even have to provide it. They have to have a certain number of employees and um, there's some other like rules around it. So it's not even every employee gets this benefit, if you even call it that. Uh, I don't know exactly how other countries work, but just like, for example, my parents had recently met this German couple who said that they get something 
like six weeks before the baby's born and I think 12 weeks after and then the dads get like a certain amount of time too and this is all paid and it's all required by the government and just you know it sounds nice so why is it so important to have like adequate time off well for one your body is healing no matter how you gave birth somewhere on your body is having to heal at the moment and for some people that's a lot more of an intense process than others but on top of that this is a huge learning like time as a mom you know you're learning how to take care of a baby especially you know if it's your first and even if it's not how to deal with more than one baby you're probably learning how to breastfeed learning how to like deal with your baby like their sleep schedule and just kind of getting this your life just completely flip-flops it changes so much and you have to learn how to deal with all of those changes and then you have this little baby this little person who has never been alive in the world before like they have never every experience for this little baby is brand new and they have to learn how to eat they have to learn how to sleep and like they, you know, you try and teach them a schedule of sleeping, especially if you plan on going back to work and you have to have them or want to have them on a certain schedule to where you can hopefully sleep before you go to work too. And if you're going to work, not only are they, you know, if you choose to breastfeed, not only are they going to learn how to breastfeed, but in that six weeks, they also learn how to take, have to learn how to take a bottle. You have to learn how to pump. You have to make sure you have enough breast milk for the times you're not going to see them. And each of these things is going to take some time and six weeks just isn't enough for all of that to like adequately happen. One thing that I've learned that oh, it like breaks my heart to know is that the breastfeeding rates drop dramatically at the six week mark here in America. Um, I could give you a pretty good guess as to why right. I think six weeks is too short. I have figured out a way that I'm going to take eight weeks, which is, you know, better, right? Um, I, by the time she's born, I'll have about 80 hours of PTO saved up. So what I'm going to do rather than like use those PTO to pay for two weeks, um, I'm going to split it to where I use like 20 hours a week and I have four weeks. Two of those weeks are my elimination period. Four weeks I'll get paid at 60%. Um, of my like short-term disability and then two more weeks I will use the rest of my 40 hours so I mean I'm basically getting paid at like 50% for four weeks and 60% for four weeks and then when I go back to work I am lucky enough to be able to go back to work part-time I currently work full-time um, and I am just requesting to drop a couple buildings to where I'm only gonna work three days a week, most likely. Um, regardless, I'll work between 20 and 25 hours. How Exactly how I'll be able to split that up is going to kind of depend on Chris's work schedule because trying to avoid paying for childcare. Um, we, you know, if one of us is not home with her except for weekends, we would have to use like a paid childcare. So we're trying to avoid that the reason why we're doing that is it's just not worth it. Like childcare is so expensive and the amount that I make would make in a day by going to work like isn't worth paying for the childcare that I would need to cover that day. The other main reason that I want to go part time is that I know this point in my baby's life is gonna go by so fast like they are changing so quickly and you know each month is like a brand new something happening and I feel like if I was working 40 hours a week that the time would go by even quicker and I might miss stuff and I really really don't want that um, you know we are willing to make some lifestyle changes so that I can do this so I can go part-time um, because it's, this is just something that's really important to me and my heart goes out to all those people that don't have that choice and I just feel lucky that 
it is a possibility for me to go part-time. Um, honestly, I'm not gonna lie, if I could, I would love to just stay at home for the first year, but that is not a possibility for us. Um, but it's okay, I think that I still feel really lucky to be able to go part-time. Um, this process has been pretty annoying, just figuring out maternity leave, figuring out how I'm, you know, what, what my work schedule is going to be and how all this stuff works, but it's going to be so worth it when I have all this time off with my little baby. And at first I was really stressing about not having enough time with her, but Chris said something to me that's like just too true. He said, you don't know that eight weeks is going to be too short. You don't know what this is going to be like. I mean, we could have things down pat in like two weeks or four weeks or and just not to like get ahead of myself and worry about it too soon because I don't know I don't know what it's gonna be like I could be ready to go back to work in eight weeks probably not gonna happen but you know it's it's not worth continuing to stress over um, it is what it is and we will figure it out when we get there uh, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it um, subscribe if you want to see how this journey goes and leave a comment down below like what your experience has been with maternity leave especially if you're if you live like in a different country or a different state um, where maybe the policies are a little bit different I'm just kind of interested to hear um, how other people deal with this okay thanks so much for watching bye <laughs>